My name is Roger Leonard, Research Extension Entomologist with the LSU Ag Center, and this afternoon I'd like to talk about soybean integrated pest management for Louisiana soybean producers. It's important to recognize that the integrated pest management strategies that we use in soybean, especially when it comes to chemical control, are based on a very effective uh, sampling system or sampling procedure. We have to use this procedure to determine when our insect pests either reach or exceed the action thresholds for which we would initiate a treatment. Now one of the most common tools that we use to determine pest populations in soybean fields is a sweep net. The use of a sweep net can be very effective. Essentially all it is, it consists of a uh, short wooden stout rod about 24 to 30 inches in length a spring wire frame of about uh, one-eighth to one-quarter inch metal, and then a muslin or heavy cotton net, which is used to capture these insect pests. The use of this by scouts and or consultants has been very effective in determining populations. Many of the action thresholds that we use, or as prescribed by the LSU Agricultural Center, are based on the use of this tool to determine populations in fields. Essentially, the first thing that uh, a scout should do upon entering the field uh, at any time using any tool is to determine the growth stage of the soybeans. But the net can be used to pull back the canopy and examine the stage of the soybeans. This can effectively tell you where many of the insects are located and what some of the primary pests are likely to be. Using a net in this fashion exposes all the seed ponds where you can examine the size of those beans and the maturity level. It also clearly shows what insect type damage is occurring on the leaf tissue and in many cases you may pick up and see the primary insect species that are causing these this damage. Early in the season on small beans usually during the R2 to R4 stages we need to sample deeper in the canopy because that's where the uh, much of the initial pod development is taking place a lot of the insects that we're collecting, such as stink bugs, are seed feeders. Therefore, we can get a better estimate of those populations. During the R6, R7 growth stages, the populations are going to be scattered throughout the plant. They're going to be feeding in the top because there's mature seed there. It's very easy just to sweep the top and collect those insects. Each passage through the canopy constitutes one sweep. I would take a minimum of 25 sweeps passing through the canopy constituting one, two, three, four, five, etc. Completing a series of 25 sweeps allows you then to pop the net over, it dislodges the insects from the side of the net, concentrates them into the bottom. You know you're using a sweep net in a proper fashion when you're getting some leaf tissue in the bottom of it, but it's not completely full of leaf tissue. At that point you know you're hitting the soybeans hard enough to dislodge the insects, but not hard enough where you're filling it up completely with all leaf tissue. This, we tend to capture large numbers of stink bugs as well as some of the caterpillars. This particular set of sweeps produced a threshold level of southern green stink bugs and also some red banded stink bugs and brown stink bugs mixed in. The LSU Ag Center has prescribed action thresholds for most of these pests that are located on the website. The insecticides used for control of those insects when they exceed those thresholds are included in the insect control guide also published by the LSU Ag Center. Most of the time the type of insect you collect is dictated by the time of season as well as the growth stage of the soybeans. Using a sweep net in this manner is a very effective tool for esti estimating insect populations, not only in soybean, but also in cotton. The process is very similar for looking at populations of tarnished plant bug during the early parts of the season, the pre-flowering stages. In soybean, regardless of planting uh, row width, plant populations, whether we're on narrow rows, such as those double drilled on a single bed, or even drilled soybeans, the sweep net can be used in a sweeping motion with each sweep through the canopy counted as one sample. 
to effectively use that technique, the information is only as valuable as that's collected for that spot. Therefore, it's very important to sample multiple areas across the field to obtain as good an estimate as possible of populations across that entire field and to determine if the entire field needs to be treated.